you happen to be a HubSpot user, one of your goals is most likely generating leads. Now, how to do that often involves another system. And in this video, we're gonna talk about three specific ways you can use HubSpot with LinkedIn to drive leads. So let's go over them real quick. Number one, HubSpot plus Sales Navigator. Number two, HubSpot plus the posting types you can do inside of the platform. And then three, HubSpot in LinkedIn ads, which are really powerful as well. So let's go ahead and dive in. Number one, HubSpot and Sales Navigator. This happens to be a very powerful integration now and HubSpot says it's even going to get better as time goes on. So first of all, we need to have Sales Navigator integrated into our HubSpot system. So first you wanna to go to the ecosystem or up here in the top right, this little, uh, looks like kind of a marketplace icon and go search for LinkedIn Sales Navigator. So Sales Navigator is gonna be a paid platform. So if you don't subscribe to that, you can get a free trial, I think, but you will need to have that to make this work. Now, the reason why you might wanna use Sales Navigator is because inside of HubSpot, when you get a new lead, so let's say someone downloads a white paper or attends a webinar and you happen to have their contact record. So this integration with Sales Navigator will make it possible for you to match that record and ask to connect and directly message them right inside of HubSpot. So once you actually integrate these two together, what it looks like, let's go to this contact record here. We've got an example of uh, Tyler here inside of our HubSpot. And then on the right hand side, you'll notice that we've got this little widget that says Sales Navigator. Now how I might wanna use this is I might wanna actually go and save this in Sales Navigator depending on how advanced you are in your use of Sales Navigator, there's actually going to be a variety of lists you can use. So here in the leads tab, we have a bunch of lists here. And I just made one um, that's called Inbound Leads Q2. So let's say that you're going to be working all of the leads that come in through your system in Q2, and we're gonna make sure that you act, you know, interact with them on LinkedIn, monitor some of their activity. So you might create a list here. So I can actually go in, and if I wanted to, um, right now it says matched. If it's not matched, it would actually say, hey, is this the right person? And you would click match. But now that it is, I can actually click on message this person. So I can send a message right to him right here inside of, of HubSpot. You're not even leaving to go over to your other system, which is great. Now, the other thing you can do here is if I wanna save in Sales Navigator, right here, it's gonna pull up those lists that I just showed you. So right now, um, it's gonna say my save leads, or I can go to either of these two lists. And I think if I actually refresh this, because I think I made the list prior to this uh, page coming up, so I'm gonna look over here on the right-hand side. We're gonna go over to that saved area, just like I showed before. Let's click on to save in Sales Navigator. And now you'll see we've got this inbound leads Q2. So I'm gonna click on adding it to that list. Now, if I go over to Sales Navigator and I refresh the screen, you'll actually see that we should have one person. And let's wait for it here. And we have one lead and that happens to be Tyler, as I just showed you here before. Now, the best thing about using Sales Navigator and HubSpot together is this is gonna give you insights as to their LinkedIn activity, and that's actually what you wanna keep your pulse on. So if I go back to this lead list, and just as an example, let's go to uh, recommended leads from the system, and you see all these things here at the top is, I've got one that changed jobs, I've got six that were mentioned in the news, and this should be the activity that you wanna to use to keep up with those folks, and then you can actually go and track that inside of your HubSpot CRM. So that's, again, one powerful way to use HubSpot and LinkedIn together using Sales Navigator, and you can actually do that right inside of HubSpot, just like I showed you here. So number two, HubSpot and LinkedIn posting. Now you do need HubSpot Marketing Pro or higher to do this, but this is what I love about HubSpot and making sure that you get either your sales team or your executives using the platform together because the way it goes today is people are less likely to engage with a brand page or a company page on LinkedIn, and they're much more likely to follow or interact with a person. So how to do that, you're gonna actually go into your HubSpot, make sure your social settings are engaged. So you'll go into settings here, and you'll wanna go down to the social here, and actually, Oh, you know what? It assumed that I wanted to go to social because that's where I was, so this is fantastic. So it's under marketing here on the left-hand side in social, and then you'll see that here we've got our accounts connected. So we've got various team members inside of Simple Strat with their accounts connected. And if we go back to that screen, so we've got about five people uh, on our team. We don't add everybody since some folks don't make sense and, or maybe don't wanna give permissions and that's okay. And here we've got four accounts that we're looking at specifically in this dashboard. So first you can look at analysis. So if we scroll down to the bottom, you can see that these are all the net new contacts that came as a result of us putting out content on LinkedIn through the HubSpot platform and we can measure that impact right here. I love this. So you'll see that over the course of the last, um, let's see, 30 days-ish, we've had um, 21 contacts total created 
as a result of our LinkedIn postings. Now, this isn't just like, hey, you know, go see this or book a call. We're doing a lot of webinars. So this is most likely people that are interested in the webinars and they're registering and they came as a result of those LinkedIn posts. But then furthermore, you can actually see what those posts were. Again, if they were scheduled inside the system and you can see that this one got 10 interactions, 11 clicks. And to do this, you would actually go up to the top. You would simply click on create social posts. And here you've actually got a choice of what accounts you wanna go with. Let's just pick mine for now. And then the thing I love about this is there are two new post types that live inside of HubSpot in LinkedIn. One's gonna be a poll. So if you've seen polls on LinkedIn, great way to get interactivity. You do wanna be a little controversial. So like, hey, which is you know a preferred strategy? Would you rather dive leads with a webinar? Or would you rather use, let's say a live event? Or would you rather have something else comment below and tell us what it is? So that's one way to use the polls. The documents would be actually how to upload, let's say a case study or a slide deck from your most recent presentation, or even some sort of learning guide. Um, this might be something where someone puts out the 10 tips about something, each page happens to be its own PDF. And every time you go through that post and sort of rifle through it, that signals engagement to the LinkedIn platform. So this is what that looks like. The document does need to be inside of HubSpot, but as you can see, it's gonna be my file manager. And if I wanted to add the slide deck from last month, this is actually what it would look like here. It comes up and this would actually be how people on LinkedIn see it. And you would just add something like, you know, missed the email marketing webinar. Check out the slide deck here. And then let's say get the full recording. And then let's say we put a link to a, a page on our website where they would fill out a form and then actually be able to get the entire video. So that would be how you actually use this social posting over to LinkedIn to then send a link to LinkedIn with your content. And then if someone converts on that link, it would show that it came from this LinkedIn post. Again, super powerful, especially as you can see, if I pull this down, we've got multiple team members that I could post on their behalf as a marketing manager. Again, assuming they're in the know, they get permission, but I could actually have all folks here uh, post something. We don't typically wanna say the same thing. That just looks like some sort of copycat. So we would customize that for that, that person's voice and then get posts out again through the platform. We could schedule for later and then as an added bonus, we could actually put all of these under a specific campaign, which we do, which that means that we can measure the entire impact of social as well as other things across the platform. So that's number two, using the LinkedIn posting inside a HubSpot. Now, number three is actually to use HubSpot and LinkedIn ads together. If you've never ran ads on LinkedIn, that's okay. It's pretty easy. It's not easy to necessarily get a return, but it's easy to get started. So what you would do in this case is you're going to go to your ads tool and it's gonna be over here in marketing and ads. And as you can see here, we've got just an example of an ad that we ran to promote our newsletter. Very short run, just to give you some data here in the system. And what we can do with this campaign is you can see that whatever we created, this was actually created over in LinkedIn when you have this map together accordingly, and that's going to be back in your settings again. So let's go to settings one more time. And back here in marketing, doo -doo -doo -doo, um, you're gonna have social, you need to have social integrated. So we have social accounts here, and that's what we're looking at as well. And then we've got ads up here in the top, and you're gonna have ads from either Google, Facebook, or LinkedIn. Those are gonna be the ones that integrate. Now, in this case, we've got our LinkedIn account uh, integrated. So we're gonna go back to our screen about ads right here. And again, you'll notice that this one is inactive, but it's gonna show us that we had 26,000 impressions, 163 clicks, a little bit above average on the CTR click-through rate, which is about 0.5, is usually about where the standard click-through rate is. And we didn't have any contacts created from this campaign. So as a result, we sent them to a landing page. They did not opt to fill in this form. And again, that's pretty typical for a short run ad campaign since we didn't have a whole lot of strategy around this. Now, what you can do is you can edit the campaign right from this specific interface, but what's even more powerful, I'm gonna take you back one screen and we're gonna actually create a campaign here from scratch. So you can actually create an ad campaign right inside of HubSpot. You could create an audience, which this is probably one of my favorites. Now at the recording of this video, the LinkedIn audience called lookalike audience, which is like, hey, here's a bunch of your customers. LinkedIn's gonna go find people that look like that. That is being phased out. So if you see stuff in your portal about that, it's because they're becoming more predictive audiences. It's a whole thing changing on LinkedIn, but just so you're aware of that. And then you can create an event, which is an event that happens in your HubSpot portal according to lifecycle stages, 
And if someone moves along, you might be able to prompt different ads for them as well. We're gonna keep it simple here and we're just gonna say, let's create an ad campaign first. And you're gonna see that they're gonna give you three specific um, objectives to choose from. So a lead gen ad would actually prompt a form to pop up for someone to fill out. A website visit ad takes them off the platform to your website. And then a search ad would be somebody who's interested in your perch services. This is just for Google ads, so we're not gonna talk about that here. But let's say we're gonna use a lead gen ad here first, and we're gonna click on next. And then it's basically gonna walk through all of the things you need to set up your ad. So again, you don't have to go over to LinkedIn. You do have to have a LinkedIn ad campaign set up initially. So you do need to do that over on LinkedIn. And then once you connect them again, back here in these settings under the LinkedIn ad account settings, you will be able to then set that ad up here right inside of LinkedIn. Now let's go back one because it's gonna ask you what audience you want to have. And this is where LinkedIn also gets really powerful right inside of HubSpot. So we're gonna click on create and we're gonna go to audience. Now audience right now, we've created five out of five audiences. You only get five uh, custom ones on the pro. And we can create audiences based on people who have visited our website. So that would be a retargeting campaign. We could create them based on a contact list, which I also love. We can create them based on a company list, which is actually my favorite. But let's go ahead and look at our audiences here. Let's click out of this and click on audiences. Okay, so now you're gonna see that this is the audience or these are the audiences that we've created within HubSpot. So we've got HubSpot, all non-subscribers in our database. So right now we've got 1900 people that match this specific parameter, which is 1900 people that are not subscribers to our newsletter. And they happen to be people that we could say, hey, LinkedIn, find these people on your platform and serve them just these ads. So think about how powerful this could be and why your data in HubSpot is so important. So if you happen to have a lot of people who have visited, let's say you host a monthly webinar, you have a thousand people come to your webinar and you have you know, a, a small conversion rate from that. Well, those people might need to know other things that you provide. So you might actually have an ad running to everybody who was on a specific list of having registered for a webinar but they're not a customer yet. Okay, so we're gonna create a company list ad. So right now you would need to create a specific list of people inside of HubSpot, or in this case of companies specifically inside of HubSpot that you would also like to target over on LinkedIn. So for example, I'm gonna give you one use case that we might consider and that is we're part of an entire content distribution network and we know what companies are part of that network, but we don't know the individuals who are interacting with our content. It's a very specific B2B uh, play, but in our case, we know all the companies, we might actually create an entire list in our HubSpot of those companies and put that here. So let's pretend that this list actually has these tier two accounts. And then um, it looks like we don't have very many people in that list, so it's gonna be three. So if we don't happen to have a list like that, we go back to our CRM here and we click on lists. And let's say we want to make a company list. So we're gonna click on create a list and we're gonna ask what kind of list it is. We're gonna do company based. Let's call this all companies for now. And we're gonna create it to be active list and we're gonna say that the company name, let's see, name, oh, okay, properties, here we go. Having struggling, first name. Wow, what time is it? I need some more coffee. All right, company name is not, it is no. Okay, so that gives us our list. Now it's gonna propagate here for just a little bit and let's go back to our marketing and our ads and let's create that audience one more time. Okay, so let's click on create audience. We're gonna create a company list. Let's go to do, 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 do the one I just created, all companies. Great, so we've got 10,476 companies in our database that would fit the parameters of this ad. So keep in mind that the reason why LinkedIn is gonna match these is they're gonna match these based on domain. So that means that everybody inside these companies is gonna get our ad. So that might be a little bit too broad. We might wanna target a very specific demographic uh, within those companies, a very specific job title. So you might find that the LinkedIn audiences need some work inside your data in order to actually make this work inside of your ads platform. But we're gonna use this for now. And let's say simple strat, we're gonna name this audience all companies in CRM, and then we're gonna create that audience. So what that means is now that we've made this audience inside of our HubSpot, I can actually go to our ad settings here inside of LinkedIn and we're gonna go to advertise. They changed all of this up since I last shot a video, so bear with me here. Okay, and now that I'm in the ad account itself here, I can actually go to audiences and you'll see that that LinkedIn integration with HubSpot is gonna be right here. So we've got all companies in CRM and you can see third-party HubSpot is right here. 
So whether or not I wanna build the ad in HubSpot or do it right here inside of LinkedIn, Ad Campaign Manager, you could do either one. So that's it, those are the three specific ways. There are a lot more ways to use HubSpot and LinkedIn together from a practical standpoint. I have more videos coming about that, but at a high level, that first one, HubSpot and LinkedIn, if you haven't yet integrated the two of them with Sales Navigator, please do that. Number two, HubSpot and LinkedIn posting. If you don't have your entire sales team and at least your executives, on the platform so you can schedule posts on their behalf to drive traffic. That's definitely something you wanna do. And then number three, if you run ads or if you're thinking of running ads, definitely get that HubSpot and LinkedIn ads integration set up and give that a run for its money. For more tips, tricks, and how-tos, hit that subscribe button. I will see you next week.